Okay, so the other bill being held captive until these final days, House Bill 722. This is the one that would fund the program near and dear to the governor's heart, the Idaho Launch Program. This is where Joe Paris joins us now. Joe, Idaho Launch passed by a single vote in the House last year. Did it yeah. face similar scrutiny this session? It did, uh, but it wasn't as narrow of a margin here this afternoon. So Idaho launch is controversial because you have a group of lawmakers who still do not believe that Idaho should be doing a program like launch. If you're not familiar with the program, what it does is it gives grants that will cover 80% of tuition and fees at Idaho colleges and technical schools for graduating high school seniors pursuing degrees and certifications in fields that are designated as in demand or needed by the state of Idaho's Workforce Development Council. Some lawmakers think that this is a handout that students don't need. So House Bill 722 would put about $71 million toward fully funding the Idaho Launch Program from the In-Demand Careers Fund. Also, it adds an additional staffer to get the program going. But yes, today was a budget debate just about funding it. But lawmakers, they still got their policy thoughts in. As I mentioned, some legislators, they still believe that Idaho shouldn't be doing this at all. They think that there are different ways to prepare Idaho for the future and one that doesn't cost taxpayers anything. In a lot of the industries, they're waiting for the people. Come, they'll train them. But we've created an atmosphere of handouts and we're going further down that road and uh, I just do not think that this is a proper role of government. I will definitely be a no thank you. If we really want to give the education and CTE and in-demand job opportunities, we should take that money that is right now going to post-secondary funding of education and move that back down into junior high and high school so that all students, not just graduates, can take advantage of that CTE training. I don't know where this actually ends. Uh, I don't know if we end with kids as they graduate. Do we give them credit cards and put money on there and say, okay, here, just, just be, uh, here you go, have fun. So conversely, we heard passionate testimony from Idaho lawmakers about the excitement in their district from students and families. These were first-generation kids. It's going to change the trajectory of their future and their children's future. And every generation after that, just like when I went to school, I was a first-generation graduate after, with a family that were all farmers for hundreds of years. Never had they ever gone to college. So those trajectories are changing those lives in a big way. I can tell you as a, as a builder, a developer, uh, projects are getting delayed because we don't have HVAC, we don't have plumbers, we don't have electricians and welders and so i would hope you would give this your green light for for something that goes on right now so that proposed legislation it passed the idaho house now heads to the senate it'll start in committee so maybe some chaos left who knows we will see lawmakers still need to do the full education budget so education funding that will continue, but a really big day, Brian, in terms of the movement on 521 that will now be on its way to the governor's desk and 722 clearing the House, which was a major hurdle. Yep. <laughs> it still needs to clear the Senate, though, yes. so we'll see what happens. Interesting to see if uh, Representative Tanner will have the same argument should a school voucher bill come forward with these last remaining days in the session. And for those of you wondering, oh, is that done for the year? It is not. I am told there's an appetite at the legislature to do something. Yep. At the same time, though, they want to go home and campaign. May told, primary coming up. We're told about a week left. Week from Possibly. tomorrow. We'll yeah. see. All right. Thanks, Joe.